you can already see that this beach is definitely worth visiting. Good morning, guys! Today we're going to Bali's most untouched beach. Let's go! So it's about 9 a.m. and we're having like 26 degrees at the moment and about 22 minutes ride to this beach. So after the scooter ride, we are expecting a 25 to 30 minutes of a difficult trek down to this beach. And it's not recommended for elders or people with disabilities or even for kids. And we recommend to bring you some trainers and do not do it with flip-flops or sandals we also recommend you to bring some sunscreen some snacks because there's nothing to buy there if you get hungry and a big bottle of water if you should trust TripAdvisor's reviews it's recommended to go there before noon that's why we're heading there so early we were planning on going there actually 7 a.m. but now it's like 9.30 a.m. but first we have to get some breakfast because the trek is super hard. That was a great breakfast. Now we're here in the middle of the streets in all the noise and we're gonna jump onto the scooter and drive to this beach. Yes, mom, I'm wearing a helmet always when I'm driving here in Bali. And you too, guys, if you're going to Bali, always wear the helmet because the traffic is a bit crazy if you have seen our earlier vlogs. It's funny how we tell you to bring snacks and all and we forgot ours. So we had to head back to the hotel to take them with us. They even have a sign here. I don't know if you can see this, but 20 minutes plus or minus, <laughs> it says, to the beach here. So the trek starts here. I think this might be the only steps, the concrete steps that we will see during this entire way down to this secluded white sand beach. What? Just around the corner from the start of this trek, you can see this. I was totally wrong. We have some steps here and in the beginning of the road we actually have a menu and somewhere to eat look at this view maybe we should eat here later on right yeah. it's like a baroon here with a 10 million dollar view over the water we have to go in and check out this view what that was a sick view. It's a super long way down. I think that this trekking will be pretty rough. As you can see, this is the start here. And uh, that's supposed to be some kind of like safety net for us not falling down, I think. And then it starts. Look, a small house in the middle of nowhere here. I uh, wonder what the rent would be here. Look, you're having like a bed here and you're having a magical view over there. Would you like to rent this place, babe? Yeah, sure. Sure. Okay, let's find out later on what the rent of this place is because the backdrop of this place is just amazing. I think you need to stop talking and watch your step. All right, maybe I should watch my step. Look at this, guys. The ride here was about 22 minutes with a scooter and it felt like it was like five minutes ride with a scooter because of all the sceneries, all the like nature that you're seeing while you're driving. And then you come to this place and you can already see that this beach is definitely worth visiting. In the middle of nowhere, there's like a bubble hotel if you look up slightly to your left when you're walking down this path. I would definitely would like to live in that one for one night and have this backdrop. It feels like it has been more organized here. For example, here we have some kind of bar and now they have just left it. It's getting really steep here, so be careful. So we seem to have two ways to go down. I'm not sure which one we will choose. Either this way to the Nongalang, or we can follow the white stones, as you can see here. Hello. Nongalang. Which way is best for going to the beach? This, that way. This way? Okay. Thank you. So uh, this way it is. So just follow 
the white stones and we're getting that way another thing we actually read about the way down to this beach is actually that it could be some uh, aggressive monkeys that we might bump into uh, we hope that this is not the case if you like watched our vlog a few days ago we were meeting up with some aggressive monkeys and that was not a good experience at all actually holding hands could be another option also if you are having quite bad balance <gasps> <laughs> okay we are almost down and i kind of almost fell embarrassing <laughs> Just trying to find good lightning don't do that we are down at the beach we made it! Yeah. Uh, Doesn't look super beautiful no. now, but it will. Have you seen the mountains? The mountains? I don't think so. Look at this, guys. This is the mountain that we trekked down. But now it's time actually to show you the beach. <laughs> Yay! We're here! I think it's blowing really much in the camera right now i don't think that you can hear me or maybe you can but look at this strip of beach it's even more behind those palm trees over there but this beach it's quite secluded it's us and those two people over there that's it guys that's it that's what you get if you're trekking down 25 minutes down the hill down the mountain or whichever you would like to call it to this beautiful beach let's have a moment of silence for Jesper who brought the pack everything for flying the drone on this beach but what I did was forgetting about the drone and this is not even funny guys because this place totally deserves being seen from above we're going from this path to the right and we're gonna discover the beach on the right hand side which is supposed to be a wreck, a shipwreck, so let's go there. Now right behind me we're having some umbrellas actually and we're having a lady waving at me trying to sell me coconuts and some like sun hats. So it's good to know if you're ever going to Niang Niang Beach that is some kind of organization on this beach. If you're having like really sensitive skin, you can actually, I think you can rent an umbrella for the day here for maybe a couple of thousand Indonesian rupiah and uh, you can protect yourself. So it's good to know that they're having some kind of organization at this beach. a good time to visit this place in the morning because the water is pretty calm so you can just sit here between the rocks and chill and chill yeah <laughs> but if you're more like a surfer you also will have some kick-ass waves like maybe 20 meters out from the shore here so you can definitely go surfing here as well one thing that we are suggesting you to bring is actually water shoes because it's quite rocky here yeah. in the water also the sad thing was that we actually forgot the drone we thought that it was in the scooter but um, yeah it wasn't in it the scooter it wasn't in the scooter and we actually left it at our hotel yeah so that was a bummer yeah but we totally hope that you have gotten the best out of this beach anyways that we showed you a couple of things here like the wreck, like the sand, like the backdrop of the mountain and the, the water. So now we only have the way back. The hike begins. Maybe halfway up. Whoops, <laughs> careful. And uh, I'm sweating like I don't know what. Feels like I just jumped into the pool. It's getting tough. I think I need some lunch now. Lunch break yeah. in the middle of the woods. We haven't even eaten our snacks yet. I have. You have. Yeah, but you didn't see that. <laughs> okay guys, seems like we are finally here. We're, we started when we arrived to the beach with uh, like a 
call it fence. Look at how sweaty I am. I really <laughs> hope that you can see how shiny I am. Your if nose is dripping. It's not, my nose is dripping. Maybe you can see this on camera, I don't know. But it's totally worth it. If you haven't like worked out in ages, this is the perfect way to get started. We have the mountain and a beautiful beach. Oh, I wish I was newly showered in a resort now. Can we just be there in like three, two, one? So this is so much better, right? Yeah, definitely. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you would like to watch more of our adventures, please subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell to get notified once we release the next video. So, see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.